Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for giving us this opportunity to make our presentation uh, through online mediums during these difficult times and providing all the necessary technical options for us. The topic that I'm going to present is using GIS for Tamil cultural data management, an application in the eastern province of Sri Lanka. My co-investigator in this research is Vimaladithan, and my name is Nimal Skandakumar. So when we think about uh, cultural representation and cultural history, particularly the cultural representation and cultural history of a nation or a group of people, many of these things significantly depend on uh, creative art forms to traditional religious practices. So when we think about, say, a cultural history of a, a group of people in a particular country, uh, the cultural art forms, the creative art forms of that group of people and the traditional religious practices and various things in between them, uh, they are going to be significant factors that is going to inform us to understand the historical context and how it has evolved over time. And a lot of these things would be in the form of the data collection, if you think of it from a research perspective, the data collection and so on will be from the form of uh, oral history collection, stone encryption, and so on. So these are going to be significantly different forms of uh, data that we will be collecting from a research perspective. And also, the cultural context would also significantly depend on the geographical context. So that is, say, we may be interested in a similar type of creative art form, say singing, uh, a particular type of poetry, or say kutu, for example. It may be very contextual for different geographical uh, places and the group of people who may have lived in those places at different points in time. And this could even be a, a significant factor, even when we consider uh, diverse populations, uh, diverse uh, uh, religio-ethnic or multi-ethnic communities that may even share the same language, but still they would have significant differences uh, based on their geographical context, their time, and so on. And when considering all these things, uh, we took uh, uh, the eastern province of Sri Lanka because as a case study for the preliminary research uh, in this topic, because of its internal cultural diversity, because of even with, with among people who speak the same language, there are uh, diversities from a religious perspective, there are other diversities uh, that uh, deviate from a geographical perspective. So we took the eastern province of Sri Lanka for our preliminary research study, and I will talk about the main context of this research as we go along in this presentation. So the main uh, uh, research problem or the research gap that we aim to uh, uh, um, study in this uh, research is the significant challenges that we face when identifying patterns from existing research literature. So for example, there are a lot of different research being conducted in the areas of uh, uh, cultural history and creative uh, arts and so on, but it is difficult to focus on what has already been done, what has not been done, what are the areas of research gap, and identifying where to focus the next research efforts. This is not significantly identified or significantly easily identifiable. The patterns are not easily identifiable with the current available uh, uh, techniques and research resources because most of the researches are published in the form of books and journals and research articles, and they cannot give us a, a overall picture. It is very difficult to get an overall picture and identifying gaps, particularly from a geographical point of view, because uh, what we already talked about is that geography plays a significant part in these different art forms and different uh, data pointers that we may be interested in. So, 
there is a necessity to somehow easily identify these, for example, oral history collections, inscriptions that have been read from temples and other places, and geographically classify them and classify them, all, classify them also from a timeline perspective and easily interact with them to identify the different research gaps and research patterns or patterns of information that, are, that is being gathered or that has been gathered in the past. So uh, this is the main sort of research gap where we started our research from. And the approach that we take to address this is uh, uh, using a cultural uh, research approach through a digital humanities lens. So we identified that we can utilize a, a, a system that uses a geographical, geographical information systems as a basis or a foundational layer uh, to map out all these different cultural pointers, cultural data pointers, and then that can provide a much richer representation of knowledge, which is uh, uh, traversable temporally and also geographically for presentation as well as for the purpose of interpretations. So, there are significantly new possibilities when we have such collect connected data sets uh, for exploring uh, various areas uh, in terms of uh, uh, data pointers, in terms of geographical pointers, or in terms of research interest, and also to correlate otherwise disjointed research outcomes, because there may be various research outcomes that are already presented and published that exist, but they in exist independently. But if we can bring them into a singular platform, uh, into a connected data set, then it will give us more options in terms of uh, uh, establishing more sounded uh, uh, research outcomes. So the main uh, objectives of this research is to establish such a centralized repository for Tamil cultural research and um, exploring the feasibility of building a location-based framework uh, for cultural data uh, and that can um, uh, facilitate and incorporate different forms such as oral history recordings, inscriptions and other creative works and build a uh, information uh, technology-based framework uh, incorporating geographical information systems or GIS principles to map out these data points uh, uh, with relevant metadata and then test the prototype in uh, selected context uh, within, uh, uh, in this case, the eastern province of Sri Lanka and establish a platform that can be used for further research purposes, and then later expand the framework to include other regions, other cultures, other languages as well, to make it a more uh, nation nationwide or more uh, holistic uh, platform that can support all different researchers as well. So the proposed uh, uh, framework is uh, uh, at the preliminary stages at, at this point in time. Uh, we have we have started uh, um, development very recently, and uh, the the way the framework is underpinned by a GIS platform, and then we have uh, um, uh, facilities to input data, and then once the data is input into the system, then how we can explore and interconnect and understand and interpret that data. So that is the overall uh, approach and we would support or the platform would support audio and visual uh, data pointers from uh, uh, oral history recordings, images uh, uh, or epigraphical of epigraphical inscriptions and textual uh, data points as well. So uh, that is uh, the current state of this research. So the, the under the aim is to use uh, GIS platforms to facilitate uh, cultural data management or cultural research data management. And in this stage, we are particularly focusing on the eastern province of Sri Lanka, but we see a significant opportunity when we can expand it to a broader context in Sri Lanka, because in the Sri Lankan uh, context, the history and culture are intermingled even across the languages and other cultures. So it would be very much uh, vital and interesting to see how we can utilize that interconnect between Sinhalese and Tamil culture as well in a future in the future uh, uh, possibility. 
So uh, thank you for this opportunity for our presentation. And if you have any questions, uh, you can post us to them.